Workers at a 97-year-old family business in Hutchins are fed up with being targeted by thieves. The hits are crippling business, they say, and they say they're ready to take matters into their own hands. Fox 4's Natalie Solis live in Hutchins tonight with surveillance video the owners of the store want you to see. Natalie. Steve, these workers tell me they take these thefts very personally. It's not just equipment that's lost, it's a day's work. It's just frustrating for you. It's very. I mean, you uh, you really get ticked off. It, it's like you're home away from home. There's little glamour in crafting massive steel boilers like this one heading to a veteran's hospital. And when we're done, it's a complete boiler. And uh, it's all hand built. But the people at Williams and Davis Boilers take pride in this labor intensive work. They just sweat to death in their long shirts on, thick shirts. They weld. And, you know, it's just to take that away from this company is taking it away from us. So it's insulting, at the very least, when a crafty crook breaks in Wednesday for a third time in the last few months, stealing thousands of dollars in welding equipment and cable leads to machines containing costly copper. Having stuff like this happen, it just delays it by weeks, days. I mean, it can take a long time for us to get our equipment running again. We have employees that can't work today. And that can make us lose up to $30,000 a day. Carradine says the alarm system was activated but didn't go off. Fortunately, surveillance cameras caught the thief in action. We've installed additional security. We put up another fence. And, you know, he still was able to break in. At times, he seems to know where to stand just out of view. Here, he brazenly turns one camera upside down. But even an experienced thief slips up. A good portion of his face revealed. Whoever's doing this, maybe I'll be up here some night with my Smith and Wesson, and I will shoot you if you come in my building again. How can the same person keep coming back? And, and how, how does he not realize like what he's doing is wrong? I mean, these are families that work here. Carradine says the man in that video is not familiar to her or anyone else who works here. She is hopeful, though, that police have at least one good lead. In the meantime, she says they are continuing to upgrade their security. Steve.